Hey there, everyone. Thomas with Basecamp Trading. It is Monday, July 27th, and we're going to take a look here at crude oil and talk a little bit about when does a failed bearish signal turn bullish or when does a failed bullish signal turn bearish. So with that being said, before we dive in here, if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So with that being said here, uh, today we saw crude oil initially this morning sell off pretty hard uh, from a high of around 47 or 41.73 all the way down to a low of 40 and a half. So about a point, one and a quarter point drop here from high to low. And then at the bottom down here, we actually had a decent sell setup, which was a bear flag. Okay. Now this bear flag triggered right here, which suggests it should have continued to accelerate lower. However, as you can see, we ended up having a, a V bottom and just shooting straight back up in crude oil. So what causes this and, and when do we say, okay, this bear flag failing is actually turning into a bullish signal? Well, one of the first things we want to watch for is not every single bullish and bearish signal is created equal. So if it's going to be a failed bearish turns bullish or a failed bullish turns bearish, where we actually want to trade the opposite direction, we need to have the number one thing being a very strong bearish setup that's failing. So you don't want just a mediocre opportunity that then doesn't follow through. We want to have a very strong setup that we were actually willing to trade one way or the other. So in this case, we were actually very bearish down here. This was a, a really good strong setup with the acceleration lower, the nice bearish momentum, the fact that we had broken through the pivot low support, all of that. So the number one thing we watch for, in other words, is it needs to be a strong signal that fails. A weak signal failing isn't enough to make us want to say, okay, it's going to reverse and go the opposite direction. But when a strong signal fails, what that tells us is that the market is going to go the path of least resistance. And there's a lot of resistance down below there because it should have run with that bearish sig signal. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, that's the main thing we watch for when trading failed bearish turning bullish or failed bullish turning bearish. You need to have a very strong signal that's failing. You do not want to trade an okay signal that's failing. All right. That being said, that is it for today. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.